like if it's if it's a someone around the same age as me, I, it will be a lot easier for them to get my trust and to have me relax around them. But if it's an adult, it can take a lot longer <laughs> because they have way more control over my life. Because with kids around my age, I can just walk away. Yeah. So. <laughs> An autistic person can be very intellectually smart, but might not be able to tie their shoes. When you take an IQ test, for example, how, how clever you are when it comes to physical activities, and how clever you are when it comes to, like, intelligence, those have to be in line for, um, an for like, neurotypical people to consider you worthwhile. <laughs> but the important thing to understand here is that you might be really smart and and functioning in so many ways but then there's aspects where you can't and that's not because you're lazy or because you don't want to or because something else that yeah. the neurotypicals come up with is actually a difficulty that takes a lot of energy so and yes you it's good to practice to be independent and as independent as possible but some things you just need to realize that this is a part of this person's autistic trait and just pushing and pushing and pushing for that person to learn to do these things might not be the best way for this person to live his or her life yeah they should definitely learn like important skills like cooking or um putting away uh dishes and stuff but that you shouldn't like force them into it you should um like maybe tell them the positives to doing that um, and the negatives to not doing it, but don't force them to do anything. It's not going to do anything if you try to force them into things. But if I were to be told, like, um, oh, you need to go clean your room, just repeating it over and over and over again will just piss me off. <laughs> you will um, piss me off too. Yeah. Also, you need, it's, it helps to be more concrete about it. Yeah. Like, what is cleaning your room? What does that mean even? Yeah. Well, the point here is that some things an autistic person might need help with for the rest of their lives because it's part of their being autistic and some parts they can learn and it's good for them to learn because being independent and not dependent on other people and how nice the other people are to to you is nice and <laughs> because it's not it's not fun to be dependent on people it varies um a lot on the autistic person's current energy level um, like for example, True that. <laughs> <laughs> skills and ability might fluctuate depending on energy level. Only because a person usually can do something or did it yesterday, it doesn't mean that today that person can do it because it depends on the circumstances and it depends on the energy level and that fluctuates a lot. Yeah. So what you need to understand is that it's not about you. If things happen, like for example, if someone has a meltdown triggered, it's not something you should take personally. It's not something that's like a um, challenge for you where you have to win whatever is happening. It's literally just calm, like help them calm down, make them aware that you're there and there to help them. Don't make them feel like you're like there just because you want to feel accomplished. For you, this is a job. But for the person you work with, it's their home. Yeah. Uh, even e e if it's in their actual home or if it's uh, at the home they're staying at, it's still their home. So you can't you can't make everything like a thing of uh, who will win. Yeah. Like a tug of war, uh, and, and make it personal because you are a guest in their house and you're there to help the person to have a good life. So don't make stuff personal yeah um and if the if person doesn't want to do anything then that person doesn't want to do it so just drop it yeah drop it and then bring it up when they're more calm um and still even if they're not even if they're still not like if they're still not okay with doing it just drop it again and bring it up later because they are going to uh do it eventually once they feel like they're able to um, also, you might, you can step back and ask yourself, am I doing this in the right way? Or is there other ways I can help this person to do if it's something important? Yeah.